What's up guys? My name is Nick and today I'm going over how do you calculate initial markup in retail? So today I'm talking about how to calculate initial markup or IMU as it's called in the retail and fashion industries. So initial markup, you need to divide into two different calculations actually. And that's the initial markup dollars and the initial markup percent of that item. So initial markup is pretty much exactly as it sounds. It's the first markup off of the price of the goods sold or the cost of goods sold to the retailer. So when you're talking initial markup dollars, it's a little easier. So if I sell, for example, this jacket to a retailer for $100, that's the price the retailer pays when they buy it from me. They might list it to their customer at the first price, no sale, no discount, no coupons, no nothing, at say $250. Well, that would mean that the initial markup of this jacket is the difference between the cost of goods sold and then the retail price that the retailer is listing it at. So if you do $250 retail price, subtracting the cost of goods sold, $100, the initial markup dollars of this jacket is $150. Now, when you get into percentages, it's a little bit less intuitive. It's not simply the percentage increase from the cost of goods sold to the initial retail price. Just so you know, that's normally called MSRP by the retailer or manufacturer's suggested retail price. Manufacturer being the vendor selling the goods to the retailer. But when you do the percentage, if you were to calculate just the increase of this jacket, you would do 250 minus 100, which is 150, and you would then divide that by 100. So that would be 1.5, so the percentage increase in the, in the price is 150%. That's not how you calculate initial markup percentage. Initial markup percentage is calculated by taking the initial markup dollars, once again, we said that it is $150. So that's the difference between the initial price of the goods and the retail price, $150. And then you divide that by the retail price itself. So you would divide 150 from $250 retail price, and that would give you your initial markup percentage, which is 60%. It's an easy percentage to think of, and it's actually a very standard percentage in the luxury fashion industry. 60% markup or 65% markup is very, very common. So a lot of times when you're pricing you know, wholesale goods, the 60%, you'll just do a 2.5 times multiple to get to your retail price, but we'll go over that in another video. So that's how you calculate initial markup dollars and initial markup percentage. Please, if you have any questions, it's not as simple as it seems sometimes, drop them in the comments. I will respond to every single one and answer your questions. And also hit the subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, we talk about fashion and business in retail almost daily, or I should say we, I mean me. It's really just, just me. But I talk about fashion and business in retail almost daily, so please subscribe and have a great day.